And police forces in cities across Canada and the U.S. have been responding to a rash of bomb threats made throughout the day. The OPP are following up on reports throughout the province and police are also investigating threats in Ottawa, Montreal, Winnipeg, Calgary and right here in the GTA. Over a dozen bomb threats have been reported in the greater Toronto area, in some cases leading to significant evacuations. The call started around 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock this morning and they've been continuing throughout the day. We've sent our officers out to investigate every single one. How many threats would you say came in? I don't know what number we're at now. I can tell you we're above 10. Above 10. And where were these threats sent to? Uh, all over the city. Different organizations, mostly private business or buildings. The bomb threats led to the evacuation of several private buildings at a number of subway stations in Toronto this afternoon. Police investigations at Wellesley, College, Queen and King. They all later reopened without incident. But it wasn't just Toronto receiving these reports. Police in Halton, Peel and York Region say they responded to several reports of unfounded email bomb threats demanding a Bitcoin payment. A security expert with Cytelligence tells City News this is a new scheme that randomly targets businesses. Estimating there were about 100 bomb threats in Canada today alone, some of them made against their clients. Here is what part of the emails provided by the cybersecurity firm's clients say. My man carried a bomb into the building where your company is located. If you are late with the money, explosive will explode. A link to a Bitcoin address is also provided. This massive hoax of sending Bitcoins to get information where the potential bomb is, that's a hoax. And there is no coincidence that it's across North America. Who could be behind something like this? I think this is orchestrated by more than one single person in a basement. Uh, this is uh, orchestrated by a group, a web, uh, no pun intended, of uh, organizers around the world. From the several messages that we have actually examined today, we can see different IP addresses and different routings. Uh, we see it from parts of Asia, part of parts of Europe, and parts of the Middle East. So again, it doesn't mean that that's necessarily where the cyber criminals are coming from, but we can see that the messages are being routed from there. What is the motive? It's all about ex extorting businesses. It's all about getting as much bank for the buck as you can. You'd be surprised how many potential organizations would actually take this claim seriously and would send them money. We had four clients today that contacted us and three of them were actually asking if we can arrange for a payment. And we told them, hold on, hold on. You don't need to pay. This is a scam. What, what did the emails look like? What were they asking? You know, it's funny. Uh, the emails were very generic, uh, even a little humorous uh, you, and, and very amateur. It wasn't a professionally put together document uh, that outlined certain things. It was really written what I would feel in, in a very quick way. It's very obvious that the person or the persons that were in charge of writing this document, uh, English is not their first language. And Canada's Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale releasing a statement today saying his office is aware of the multiple bomb threats in cities across Canada, saying, quote, swatting incidents are serious crimes and will be investigated by police, also telling Canadians to report any suspicious activities to law enforcement.